Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been pictured going into a side entrance of London Euston today, as they take the train up to Manchester for the One Young World Summit, where the Duchess will give a keynote speech. In photographs that appeared on the Mail Online, Meghan Markle was seen arriving in Euston, London, wearing a delightful new outfit that was sleek and totally gorgeous. The Duchess of Sussex looked elegant in a light brown ribbed Brandon Maxwell polo top. She combined with a pair of pristine camel colored wide leg trousers and Manolo Blahnik heels. Duchess Meghan favors tailor pieces like this, as well as high heels and clothes fitting items in classic, tonal colors. Her garments are the kind of styles that suit not only a plethora of shapes, but are also timeless. She kept her curly hair in a sleeked ponytail and added a touch of glitz to her ensemble by wearing a pair of golden hoop earrings. Meanwhile, Prince Harry looked just as smart in navy trousers teamed with a matching blazer upon his arrival at the train station. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were on Monday set to make their first appearance in Britain since the Queen's Platinum Jubilee amid continuing sadness and disquiet in the royal family over their rift. The couple arrived from California on Saturday on a commercial airline ahead of Monday's visit to Manchester, which is a rare choice for celebrities of Meghan and Harry's status. After arriving in the UK, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were seen without their children Archie and Lilibet, were driven the 27 miles from their UK base at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor to Euston in a hybrid electric Range Rover, a journey taking about an hour, before walking into the railway station. Harry and Meghan had earlier been seen grinning at each other when leaving Frogmore as they were photographed for the first time on their return to the UK before beginning their short European tour in the northwest of England. The Sussexes were accompanied by two bodyguards and followed by another Ranger over as they were driven out of the grounds of Windsor Castle, ahead of Meghan making her first speech to a British crowd since Megxit. The couple's decision to use at least two private security firms and dog teams to form a ring of steel around Bridgewater Hall. A spokesman for Greater Manchester Police confirmed its officers were not involved, adding that security for the event had been privately sourced. The One Young World Summit is an event which brings together young leaders from more than 190 countries. The areas outside the 2300 seat venue will be cleared of the public an hour and a half before the couple arrive after 6pm, it has been reported. Duchess Meghan is gearing up to make her first speech to a British crowd since Megxit later today. She is expected to discuss gender equality at the opening ceremony of the One Young World Summit at Bridgewater Hall. The appearance is part of a whistle-stop charity tour, which will see the couple heading to Dusseldorf tomorrow for an Invictus Games event before attending Thursday's Well Child Awards in London where Harry will make a speech. The tour has caused trepidation in royal circles. Coming days after Meghan used a US interview to suggest she had been restrained in previous remarks about the palace. It will be her first public appearance in the UK since returning for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June, and her first public address since she and Prince Harry quit royal duties in 2020. Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, please leave a comment below this video of us.